All right, get the popcorn ready. Here we go. It's my time, Madam Secretary. So why don't you answer my question? From January to August, the price of gasoline was up over 30%. In my state alone, it has been a continuous, a continuous upward tick since then. And here's what your president did when he first came to office. He immediately re-entered the Paris Climate Accord. He canceled the Keystone Pipeline. He halted leasing programs in Anwar. He issued a 60-day halt on all new oil and gas leases and drilling permits on federal lands and waters. That's nationwide. That accounts, by the way, for 25% of U.S. oil production. He directed federal agencies to eliminate all supports for fossil fuels. He imposed new regulations on oil and gas and methane emissions. Those, Yeah, he did all that. <laughs> he definitely did all that within the first few days, by the way. What a nice regime, aren't they? Let's continue to listen. All just in the first few days. Are you telling me that's had no effect I'm on our energy you that supply? 94% of the oil and gas executives that were surveyed by the Dallas Fed said that administration policies had nothing to do with the increase in the price of oil. I'm not and interested in price- Liar, liar, pants on fire. You're taking a statement out of context and you've lost your mind. But this is the kind of nonsense that they do. It's crazy, folks. This is the kind of thing that this regime is doing. And the reality of it is they are lying through their teeth because they want to destroy the economy. That is what they are into doing. That is what they continue to aim to do. And folks, they have to be held accountable. If you want to listen to her gaslighting, you can hear what she has to say for the rest of this. And it is despicable. It's despicable. Listen to what she has to say when she gets called on her lies. This is absolutely terrible. So then the the facts. Are you telling me that these policies had no effect? Is that your testimony that these policies had no effect? Are you telling me, Madam Secretary, are you telling me? Answer the question, dang it. (laughs) Listen to this. Under oath that these policies had no effect. I'm telling you that 94% of the oil and gas industry... I'm not interested in their opinion. I'm interested in the facts. So, no, they did not ask That is a remarkable statement. (laughs) Yes, it is. Thank you, Breitbart, for the clip. It's an absolutely remarkable statement, just like the crazy empty-headed press secretary that says this is historical. We've seen amazing numbers. It's like nothing we've ever seen before. That is what you call a bold face lie. Folks, it's a lie. We need to admit it. We need to call it for what it is. And we need to call these people into account. They are not telling the truth. Folks, you want to know what the reality is of everything that we're seeing? The insane gas prices that we are watching right now is a direct effort to subvert our freedoms. They are raising the prices on purpose. They don't want people to buy gas because if you buy gas, that means you fill up your car. And if you fill up your car, you can go anywhere you want. And that means you're free. And they want to take away all aspects of freedom. If you want to go somewhere, pay us, the government, or let us even pay for you to get on our government buses to go wherever we tell you to go. Folks, that's exactly what's happening. Wake up, pay attention. These people are evil. They hate God, which means they hate freedom. And that's the way it works. Let's just call a spade a spade. That's what is happening. We need to open up our eyes. Folks, Jesus is coming soon. And as I've said before, every time I say that, it needs to be a reminder that we are the preserving influence in this world. And we need to continue to fight the good fight. God bless you guys.